Two years ago, I was an arrogant little high school kid in year 12. I would walk around the school by myself or with my friend group with something called an RBF, which means a resting bitch face. I also pushed a lot of people away, including friends and close family. Every time I had a minor inconvenience, maybe like the slightest situation or the slightest problem, it would feel like life or death for me because I'm just a natural overthinker. And I also had a crush on this one girl in school. She used to always hang out in the basketball court. And that spot was where me and the boys used to kick back and play handball there too. So both her girl group and our guy group were pretty much like next to each other. I would always be checking over their group, not in like a stalker way, kind of in a stalker way to be honest, to see if she's like looking back at me, you know, making eye contact. You know how it is. Almost 100% of the time, she didn't, she didn't even notice me at all. So I'd come up with these like insecure thoughts. Your jacket doesn't look good. You need to act cooler. Your hair is too messy. Then this would obviously lead to a, a rabbit hole, a spiral of down and negative and toxic emotions and thoughts. You're not good enough, bro. She doesn't like you, bro. She doesn't know you exist, bro. She doesn't even think you're cute, bro. She thinks you're ugly, dude. And these insecurities would turn into pride and arrogance. Sometimes I would even create these random made up scenarios in my head with me and this girl. I was just being delusional just to make myself feel better. I really was a full-time overthinker back in high school. <laughs> now, fast forward a couple of years, we're here now in like September of 2024. I'm catching up with an old friend through text messages and I was absolutely spamming him with these voice memos. They were pretty long, like one to three minutes each. Because I was doing a huge rant about God and spirituality and women and relationships. You know, when you have those conversations, when you text your friend and you just have this long ass like session of real talk and i love those so i was getting really deep into the conversation because you know i love getting deep and the very first words he replies with was you changed in a good way and that just made me feel good because i knew that i was on the right track by getting validation from one of my closest friends and it meant a lot and i recently came to a bible verse that perfectly fits this scenario. 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 6, And the Spirit of the Lord will come upon thee, and thou shalt prophesy with them, and shalt be turned into another man. This means that praising God will provide us with wisdom, His infinite wisdom, and obviously the other good stuff like self-discipline, a great mindset, and so much so to the point where a man would appear like a completely different person from before. And that is exactly what happened to me after I went all in on Jesus. So if you're 16 to 25 years old, struggling to deal with how complex life is with all this evil around us, first link below will take you to a community of other young believers like you. I built this group to create a space where the youth can open up about their sins, build their relationship with God, create dope content to tell their story, and build an authentic personal brand with a clear purpose. You can join us in weekly group calls, watch my content courses, and connect with others like you in our community hub. And there's a reason why you're still here watching to the very last second of this video, because you know that you need Jesus in your life. Alright, God bless, I'll see you tomorrow.